know, Shakam, I feel the same way. As long as I can hear your voice, I feel like I'm never alone. You're not. <laughs> Don't you two have anything better to do? Are you going to marry Shakim? Does he have a big bank? <laughs> Do his eyebrows swim together like your last boyfriend? <laughs> Look, that's it. Forget it. Just hang up the phone when I get into the kitchen, okay? Okay, Zarya. So, Shakim, you know Zarya likes it when guys buy stuff for a brother and sister. Hang it up! <laughs> Community Focus, the public access show for the community, from the community. And now it's time for our special feature, Brothers in the Balcony. <laughs> I'm your film critic, Robert Peterson. And I'm Wendell Wilcox III, but the ladies call me WW3. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of ladies, the first film we're going to review tonight is Waiting to Exhale Part 2. What's clothes got to do with it? <laughs> and here's the clip. Honey, I'm home. Oh, baby, why you burning up all of my clothes? You just remember that the next time you leave that toilet seat up. I I'll change. I I'll put the seat down. What's clothes got to do with this? <laughs> now, I'm not my running shoes. How am I going to get to work? Walk like the dog you are. <laughs> I laughed, I cried, I, I, I slept with one eye open. <laughs> we give Waiting to Exhale part two much, much love. love. <laughs> the next film is called Labor Day. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Will Smith fight aliens who come to Earth for a three-day weekend and a barbecue. <laughs> we must stop them before they blow up the world on Labor Day. Did you, know? Did you hear that? What? These aliens just don't understand, man. I'm gonna send them to a galaxy called Bel Air. <laughs> La Vista, partner. <laughs> WW3, the special effects were great. And the aliens were easier to understand than Arnold. <laughs> we give Labor Day much, much love. <laughs> the final film of tonight was written by, directed by, and starring a young brother who is the hottest new talent in the industry, Ahmad Zaire. It's called Killer in the Hood. <laughs> Here's the clip. <laughs> <laughs> you grumpy old G still hanging out on my corner? What? 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 <laughs> you better check yourself. <laughs> fool, you better recognize. What's up? Recognize? Yeah, what set you from, fool? Hey, 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 help me talk about shine. Whoa. Help me talk about shine. <laughs> yeah. No, that's hospital. That's oh, hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Where's Sonny? You fools better step off, roll on, or get carried away. What's it gonna be? Get him, get him, get him, get him! Bring him up, bring him up! Bring him up. Bring him up. Bring him up. Come on, guys! Whoa, 
In this movie, everybody was on drugs, on the street, or on welfare. Exactly, and the grandma was on all three. <laughs> I was embarrassed by the language. I, I, I've never heard the N-word used so much. You never been pulled over by a cop? <laughs> Killer in the Hood, this is a hood we've visited once too often, and we give Killer in the Hood no Ooh. love. Stop. <laughs> That's our film review for tonight. And now with a final commentary is Wendell Wilcox III. Thank you, Robert. You're welcome, WW3. <laughs> Why is it that every time that I go to the movie theaters, there's always a big head person sitting right in front of me? <laughs> If you got a big head, please, brother or sister, move to the back of the theater. I have another point. They need a big head section. All the big head people sit at a certain section. We're out of time. Thanks for tuning in. We're two brothers in the balcony. Now that's your cam. Now, mom, dad, I have to warn you. He's a nice guy, but he's a little different than my other boyfriends. Oh, do you mean his eyebrows don't run together? <laughs> hey, Zaria. Hi, Shakim. Um, Shakim, this is my family, and family, this is Shakim. Hi, hi. Mr. Peterson, I'm honored. Would you look at this crib? You know, if only we as a people could get it sold together, maybe we all could live as boozy as you do. Uh, he has nice eyebrows, doesn't he? <laughs> Mrs. Peterson, you're in law school. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Although, personally, I think lawyers are ruining the quality of life in this country. It's each his own, right? So keep it up, Miss Peterson. Thank you. <laughs> He's not shy, is he? <laughs> it, was, it was nice meeting you, Kunta. Well, no. Bye. I'm sure the movie must be starting now, so... Yeah, we don't want to miss Killer in the Hood. <laughs> Killer in the Hood? You know I gave that film a bad review. Yes, and it was very insightful. You know, I admire your passion and concern for its potential social ramifications. And you're still going to see it? Hey, I can't miss it on your say-so. Don't even know you. <laughs> but if you don't want Zarya to go see it, I won't take her. Oh, Shakim, don't be ridiculous. My daddy taught me to make my own decisions, right, Dad? That's right, that's right. After 16 years, she finally listens to me. But you know what? We better get going, because we don't want to get stuck behind some big head. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm going to dig hanging with you folks. Peace. That boy can work my nerves. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. Oh, good morning, baby. Dad, I cannot believe you did not like Killer in the Hood. You saw it? Who hasn't? Come on, in the words of Killer's grandma, baby, it was dope. <laughs> yeah, it was dope and guns and a lot of cussing. Yeah, don't forget those skimpy outfits and the booming soundtrack. <laughs> Michael, it was a piece of junk. Ah, oh, come on, Dad. It's entertainment. Lighten up. People need to escape. Michael, I saw that movie and I wanted my money back. In fact, I wanted everybody's money back. What's up, y'all? What's up? Hey. Rob, they quoted your review of Killer in the Hood. They did? That's incredible. But you're in the newspaper? No, that somebody actually watched the show. <laughs> you gotta read this first, Rob. They really slammed you, man. What did they say, babe? Nothing about me, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Professor slams up-and-coming black filmmaker. A tiny voice in a lowly public access studio has trashed the new release by Ahmad Zaire. To the surprise of the community, he's black. This is horrible. They're calling me a traitor for not getting behind some young black voice. They're calling you a traitor simply because you disagree with someone? It gets worse. Another typical example of the black community not supporting one another. As far as this publication is concerned, Robert Peterson deserves no love. A traitor to the community. 
This is terrible. It's like they're calling you a villain. Rob, remember when I said I wanted my name at the beginning of the show like yours? Never mind. <laughs> Dad, everybody's talking about you. You read the newspaper? No, you're the talk of the internet. Ahmad Zaire is online right now, dogging you out worldwide. What? Let me see. Oof, look at all these responses. Yo, you the man, Mr. Peterson. You've united the community. Yeah, they're united, all right. Unfortunately, they're united against my dad. <laughs> Rob, um, I think I'm gonna have to sit on our next show. I think I'm coming down with a cough. <laughs> thing is really blowing up. Dad, this, this is serious. The hottest director in Hollywood is saying you don't have a clue. I don't want to hear what that clown has to say. What did he say? In my opinion, the reason this Professor Peterson doesn't like my film is because he isn't in touch with the issues. Not in touch. Zarya, get online and get that big mouth and tell him if he wants to discuss the issues, I'll debate him anytime. He says name the place. My show this week. Rob, that man's not gonna come down to our rinky-dinky public access show. Dad, he says he wants to come down to your little rinky-dinky public access show. He says he'll be there next week. Dad, are you sure you wanna go through with this? Definitely. It's on. You think you can get a Holly Bear on there? <laughs> hey, Zarya, play me a new demo tape. Slam it. Oh, cool. Thanks. Thanks. You know, I admire your courage in facing the staggering odds and the political corruption of the music industry today. <laughs> huh. Okay. Uh, Shaquem, listen, I'm not an artist with limited vision, all right? I'm not gonna wait for my break. I'm gonna make my own. I have my own band. I'm gonna produce my own records. And someday, I'm gonna have my own record label. Peace. Zarya. Zarya. What's the matter? Nothing, I'm cool. Come on, it's me. What's on your mind? Well, Shaquem, you have such a strong personality. And I can intimidate people. I, I guess I'm just afraid that my family doesn't like you. Maybe they don't. But how do you feel? I like you a lot. Well, listen, Zarya. Your opinion, it matters as much as anyone else's. You matter. So, baby, if you dig me, dig me. And if they love you, they'll have no choice but to like me. I see your friend's finally gone. Mom, hmm? you don't like him, do you? Oh, I'm sure he's a nice person deep down inside. Deep, 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 deep down inside. But honestly, Saria, I don't know what you see in him. Mom, I know he comes on a little strong, but I like him. And my feelings matter, don't they? Oh, baby, of course they do. Come here. You know, there are a lot of fish in the sea. And sometimes it's OK to throw one back in. <laughs> Uh, there's something stuck in the garbage disposal. And from the looks of this red hair, I'd say it's Cece's Roscoe doll. Why would she grind up her doll? Because Shaka Zulu told her <laughs> he exploits the masses. His name is Shaquem. And uh, speaking of names, I might have to change mine if you don't cancel this show tonight. Cancel? Are you kidding? I've been doing my homework. I'm going to give that filmmaker a rough cut. Oh, Dad, come on, let it go. It's just a movie. It doesn't mean anything. You saw Babe. Did you stop eating bacon? <laughs> For a week. <laughs> the point is, I have the right to speak my mind, Michael. And doesn't Ahmad have the right to make the kind of movies that he wants to? Isn't that part of his freedom of speech? I'm all for freedom of speech, as long as that freedom comes with some responsibility. Would you hand me that pipe, honey? Oh, yeah. Dad, it's a harmless little film. Who's it gonna hurt? Nick, come on. This is, this is my shirt, right? Didn't I tell you to stay out of my closet? Nigga, please. <laughs> Nicholas. Where did you guys come from? <laughs> 
Never mind that. Where did that word come from? Have a seat, young man. Everybody at school is saying it. It's what they say in Killing the Hood. Nicholas, that word was created to make us feel less than human. I don't care what you hear at school, but that word is never allowed in this house. Understand? I'm sorry, but if it's such a bad word, why do black people keep saying it to each other? That's a question I've been asking for a long time. No love for Robert. 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 Hello, and welcome to no a special Robert. edition of Brothers in the Balcony. I'm your film critic, Robert Peterson. Never mind who I am. Let's just introduce our very special guest. <laughs> He's the director of such highly profitable films as Drive By on 137th Street. Pimp Dreams. <laughs> the Dope Man Cometh. And his latest hit, Killer in the Hood. Let's welcome Ahmad Zahia. Mr. Uh, Zaire, welcome to my program. I'm surprised you welcomed me. I didn't think you had room on your show for a real brother. <laughs> Being a real brother is not the issue. The issue is the content of your films. So let's get to that. All your films focus mainly on negative images. Hey, I'm just reflecting what's out there. Why don't you roll down the tinted windows of your Volvo and check out what's really going on? I don't drive a Volvo. That's right. He drives a sock. <laughs> a nice one with leather seats, factory air. You should see it. Window. <laughs> you know, you're the type of brother that has no idea what time it is in my neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Your neighborhood, and where exactly would that be? You know, uptown, Harlem, Ooh. Sugar Hill. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm from Harlem, too. Uh, what grade school did you go to? Oh, uh... Uh, P.S. Uh... No, it's more like B.S. <laughs> I did some research, Ahmad. In your films, you might live in the hood, but in the phone book, you live on Central Park West. <laughs> so, I, I moved on up, like the Jeffersons. <laughs> What's your point, brother? My point is, you grew up in Scarsdale, where you were captain of the polo team in prep school. Your name's not even Ahmad Zaire. It's Chauncey Hillman. Chauncey Hillman? <laughs> and everybody called you Chauncey, Chauncey, chubby little Chauncey. <laughs> look, look, man, the, 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 the job of a, a film director is to take his pain and reflect it back to his work. Pain? What pain? Tennis elbow? <laughs> you don't know anything about the pain of surviving in the hood? Well, look, man, I'm, I'm just trying to get paid. I mean, isn't that the American way? No. You wrong, brother. The American way is standing up for where you're from and for what you believe in. Like Professor Peterson. Yeah. yeah. Right on, brother, right on. Look, my films are popular. I mean, what is your problem, brother? My problem is, is that you don't know anything about the hood and you're putting a bad light on a place you know nothing about. And if there is a killer in the hood, it's filmmakers like you, Chauncey, Chauncey, little Chauncey. Yes. <laughs> and stay out, Chauncey, Chauncey. <laughs> we showed them, then we it. <laughs> well, that's our show, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We're two brothers in the balcony. Good night. <laughs> You were wonderful. Oh, great job, Dad. We are so proud of you. Hey, you killed Mr. Peterson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dad, you were all up in his face. <laughs> Dad, you were great. Thanks, son. Now, do you understand what I was talking about? I understand. And don't worry, I won't ever use that word again. 
and I won't let nobody else use it without speaking up against it. And uh, she can. I appreciate you standing up as well. Hey, no problem. I always stand up for the truth. But I have to point out that you did make a couple of mistakes. What? See, first of all, the brother lives in Trump Towers. Check him. Brother, quit while you're ahead. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Come on. Yeah. Oh, mom, mom, I finally figured out what it is I like about Shaquem. You did? Yeah, he's opinionated, he's passionate, he stands up for what he believes in. Mom, don't you see? He's just like Dad. <laughs> you know, I knew there was something I liked about that kid. Wait, wait! I forgot my line. <laughs> come on, come on! Wait, okay. wait, wait, wait! Let me make more room. No one pushes Arnold around but Maria. <laughs> It's a suit! <laughs> 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 <laughs>